last but not least, Grace Radling. <laughs> Um, I'm very honored to have the opportunity to speak here today. My one regret is that I have two other sisters that have been impacted by Dr. Polanski as much as I have, but it's probably for the best because summarizing my own experiences was a difficult task. My relationship with Dr. Polanski began before I even stepped foot on campus. My sister had been here and said good things about him to my mom, so my mom told me, I was going to take his class, I was going to meet him whether I liked it or not. <laughs> and as any high school student knows, I was a senior, I was an adult, and my mother forcing me to do anything was absolutely cringeworthy. So little did you know, our first meeting was very forced. But if there's one thing I've learned in the four years since, it's always listen to your mother, because <laughs> I don't think Dr. Polanski could have gotten rid of me after that if he wanted to. So the majority of my learning experiences with Dr. Polanski were actually outside of the classroom. There were, of course, the classroom experiences where I learned to be more open-minded and to discuss things based on three semesters in his humanity sequence. I learned, let's see, I learned not to allow school to overwhelm me as I showed up at his office at random times, never once did I make an appointment, and yet I never once had to wait, sitting on his couch giving vent to all of my stresses. I learned public speaking skills via honors ambassadors with him, and believe me, I learned them fast, because my first speech turned into a long, rambling digression, which he, of course, with his everlasting humor, has made fun of ever since. <laughs> to, the point, to the point where it is honors ambassador legend, let me tell you. I learned independence my junior year when he allowed me to single-handedly, or, or at least to lead the planning of a banquet for freshmen and their teachers from high school. I learned to understand and defend my degree, my reasons for pursuing my degree, and my future plans as he raised oftentimes thought-provoking questions and reminding me in that way that college is not the end goal, something I think a lot of college kids forget. It is rather a means to an end. I learned kindness and friendship each time he had a class over to his house or honors ambassadors for dinner. It was always very good food. College kids love their free meals. <laughs> and I even had the benefit of going to dinner with him once with just my sister, also a very good experience. But most importantly, I learned never to underestimate my own worth. Each time my expectations fell low, his remained high, to the point where I kept shooting for the stars even when I forgot the stars were even there. And it was his assuring when I was worried about my future, particularly in these last few weeks, one week out from graduation, as any college senior, I'm a little afraid, <laughs> but it was his assuring that reminded me that things were going to fall into place, that things were going to turn out well. So thank you, Dr. Polanski. Thank you for going beyond the title of teacher and director. Thank you for your faith in me and all of your students, for being to both my sisters as well as myself, a mentor and most of all, a friend. Before I introduce our last speaker, um, I want to encourage you to join us at 2 o'clock in Bush Auditorium in the Business School, Cornell Hall, right next door, for Dr. Bondison's last lecture. Um, those of us who know him know that it will not be his last lecture, but, um, but that's the title. Um, and we'll pretend for the rest of the afternoon. Um, it's probably his last lecture today. <laughs> um, and I also wanted to uh, recognize some of our special guests, um, Brady Deaton and Ann Deaton. Chancellor Brady Deaton um, has come to Um, and now if uh, Vice Provost for Undergraduate Studies, Jim Spain, will come up and make his presentation.
I'd like to thank Julie for an amazing job done putting today's event together. Julie, thank you so much. And I think it most appropriate for me to, before I, I make remarks to, to, to conclude this portion of today's great events, to invite our great chancellor um, to the podium so that he can share his reflections about the, the great work that Bill and, and Stu have both contributed to Mizzou Brady. Thank you. I'm glad to Thank you. Ms. Nixon, great to have you here with us. And to Julie, thank you for all you have done. And to all of you who have gathered here today to honor two very distinguished people. I know you love that photo, this uh, drawing here. And uh, you've brought honor to the university. And those of you that have gathered back here today bring honor and distinction to these two individuals as well as, as to the university. And what we are seeing here today uh, to recognize Bill and Stu really as a very small token of generosity and esteem for you and gratitude as representative of all those, those generations, literally, that have gone through and that you have influenced and have gone on so that if you travel anywhere in the world today and meet a graduate of the University of Missouri, the most frequently asked question is, oh, do you know Bill Bondison? Do you know <laughs> Stu Polanski for the contributions they've made? Because those products that you have generated, as we say in economics, at the undergraduate level are out there now in so many ways of leadership uh, at the professional level, uh, in education, in government, in business, influencing the world. And they do it from that enriched Athens that you have brought to the university. And George Ann, you said it so well. There are many of us who uh, grew up in the Spartas of the world, and we continue to seek a more enlightened stature and a more enlightened community. And Bill and Stu, you have certainly brought that to the University of Missouri. And you symbolize that at the, as the foundation of the University of Missouri. And that's very important. I was so thrilled to hear the students who spoke today. And what an incredible array of talent. And you know, I think any of us who have gone into higher education have to believe that if we fulfill our career and have a few students who could say anything approaching what we have heard today, our lives would have been rewarded. And so this, this, you have brought that in to this table here today and enabled all of us to join with you in, in that enriching opportunity. And that, that excitement that you have instilled in the students to continue to keep shooting for the stars. I love that comment I made just a few minutes ago. And I think it symbolizes so much of what we are about as a university. And if we are to advance with the kind of social and civil and artistic civilization that the two of you represent in so many ways, we are going to have to keep shooting for the stars and keep moving in the direction that you have established as a university. So I'm very proud of you. And I did not want to let the day go by without me being able to add my words of thanks to what you have done for the university also recognizing that it is not over, as uh, Julie said so well a moment ago. I told all the students as they went on the, the prowl yesterday through the columns, you know, Mizzou will never leave you. And I know the two of you will never leave Mizzou. And we will be with you. And we're going to see the contributions of these two individuals long into the future. They have done so much for the university. They've been so supportive of the work, certainly, that I have done at this university. And Bill, I have to mention your special role as an assistant in our development campaign and in the honorary degree component that you have provided such leadership for and enabled us to celebrate as a university community in ways that we would not have dreamed about otherwise. So I join with the students in saying that you have inspired us, both of you, to keep shooting for the stars. And the University of Missouri will keep doing that as long as your spirit may, is maintained within the university. And today is a great step forward in ensuring that that continues to happen. So thanks to all of you for being here. And let me honor the two of you by just simply thanking you on behalf of the entire university community. Thanks so much.